What's crack like it's your boy bro smoke just in case you did not know so I don't know why I said it that way We're talking receivers start sits before that I got a new mock draft out check that out if you're interested And become a bro and subscribe if you enjoy the content and of course leave a thumbs up helps me out much appreciated much obliged and tough week this week for receivers kind of sort of we're missing Tyree kill Stefan Diggs that roller coaster ride that Stefan Diggs is Christian Kirk and Keenan Allen so uh, yeah let's see what we can do at receiver we're gonna start with the Thursday night game of course we got Indianapolis versus Houston and T.Y. Hillen if healthy is a start so check that I think he m might be out this week um i haven't really i haven't really seen anything on that thus far but um he's the only receiver i trust we gave zach pascal a chance and he ain't deliver as far as the texans man uh hopkins really he's kind of in the same boat as uh hilton he's the only guy we can trust on the texans stills is boom or bust more so boom than actual bust or more so bust than actual boom i should say um so yeah hopkins Decent matchup. Uh, Colts are 14th against opposing uh, wide receivers. So, so, so. And on to Cleveland versus Miami. Uh, I think OBJ, Odell, and uh, Jarvis Landry are both fine starts this week. Check on Landry. I know he's been a little beat up recently. Um, but Dolphins are 21st against opposing receivers. I think this is a great, uh, I think this is a good start. As well as Devontae Parker for the Dolphins. The only guy i would start for the dolphins at receiver i know tough matchup cleveland their ninth against opposing uh receivers but he's near he nearly has double the volume share of everyone else on that team so i i, li I like Devonte parker he's really uh he's been a what's the word he's been a dark horse he's really uh really helped out a lot of our fantasy teams and we're on to tampa bay versus Falcons, woo, man. Uh, okay, uh, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. They're always starts. I know defensively Atlanta's played a lot better, but they're always starts. They're too good to sit. And you, <laughs> we got uh, Julio Jones, who actually it looks like Julio Jones. Uh, where did I see this? Julio Jones. He was held out of Wednesday's practice with a foot injury. But just monitor that. I don't think he'll miss this week's game. But I like Julio. I like Calvin Ridley. I like Russell Gage if you really need a start. Because, I mean, look at Bucks at 32nd against opposing receivers. And Russell Gage, where you might look, oh, well, he didn't do that great last week. Well, one of his cat or one of his targets was a drop touchdown. So he's got good upside, especially in the flex. So I wouldn't mind taking a risk there. Denver versus Buffalo. Uh, Cortland Sutton is the only guy I would trust. He's tried and true regardless of the matchup. But interesting, Tim Patrick came in last week, and he did what we thought uh, Deshaun Hamilton would. He, he came in last week. He had four receptions on eight targets for 77 yards. Still, it's a tough matchup. I'd sit him, but I wouldn't mind rostering him and kind of wait in and seeing, you know. But Sutton is a start as far as the Bills go, man. Uh, John Brown, man, how can you sit him? He has 25 targets over the last two games. Uh, I will take that kind of opportunity forever and always, even in the tough matchup, because, believe it or not, Denver, they're fourth against opposing receivers. Cole Beasley, though, I'm finally saying he's a sit. He said he's in that uh, Danny Amendola territory. He's get, he gets high volume, but they're low quality targets. So he will be a sit for me this week. We got Giants versus the Bears. Golden Tate, your start. He's the most reliable target for the Giants. And it looks like Sterling Shepard is likely out again. Even in the tough matchup, Bears, they're uh, third against opposing receivers. I still like Golden Tate. He'll, be, he'll get his screen game on, believe me. And then Darius Slayton is a sit. He doesn't produce in tough matchups. So what is this? A tough matchup? I would sit him. And, ooh, man, all these. All right, so Allen Robinson, Anthony Miller, Taylor Gabriel. If, if Chase Daniel is the starter, I like all these guys as flexes. If it's Mitch Trubisky, I would only start uh, Allen Robinson. 
the Giants are 31st against opposing uh, receivers. So if Daniels is in, all these guys become flexible options. If he is not, only Robinson. There, I said it. Pittsburgh versus Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Uh, looks like uh, Juju will be out. He's in, He was in concuss uh, concussion protocol, and he was spotted wearing a knee brace on Monday. So it looks like he's likely to sit. And as far as Deontay Johnson and uh, James Washington, I, I got these guys as sits. Their volume is too split. It looks like it might be a run-heavy game. And Mason Rudolph hasn't played that well. Plus, the Bengals, they're actually 12th against opposing receivers. Where they give up a lot of their stuff is uh, at tight end, where they're 20th. So, yeah, they're sits for me. But uh, Tyler Boyd. I think he's a start. I know he's been very disappointed, but the dude came out and he's asking for more targets. He says he's irked. He's not even seeing the ball. He wants to see the ball. And you know what? Ha we saw what happened with Thielen. Criticized his quarterback, and then he had a huge game. I'm just saying I like that, especially from a guy like Tyler Boyd with all the potential in the world. Um, looks like Auden Tate is likely out for this game. So Tyler Boyd's the only option I would go with. And then we go to Carolina versus the Saints. Uh, DJ Moore is a start. He's only seen under eight targets twice this season. Saints are 19th against opposing uh, receivers. So I like it. Um, I think Lattimore might might be more on. Oh, well, that's not true because they put Curtis Samuel sometimes in the slot. Um, I, st I still like DJ Moore in this matchup. But uh, Curtis Samuel... I'm sitting him. He hasn't done much recently. He's kind of touchdown dependent. His targets, I talked about it with Am, uh, Danny Amendola. They're low quality targets. So I think he's a sit for this week. And then Michael Thomas is always a start. He is the lead. Uh, I think he's number one now in fantasy as far as receivers. So yeah, go get it. And then Teddy Ginn is a sit even against 20, uh, against the um, Panthers or 23rd against opposing tight ends. But uh, we started him last week with some confidence, and he only got eight eight points in half PPR leagues. So that ain't gonna get it done. I don't wanna I don't wanna be caught with my pants down again. It's never never a fun experience. No one likes my chonies. Oakland versus the Jets. Uh, I think Tyrell Williams and Hunter Renfo are fine starts. The Jets are 30th against opposing uh, receivers. My only thing is Hunter Renfro, his his uh, points might be in jeopardy, even in the good matchup, because he'll probably be facing Brian Poole, who is in the slot for the Jets, and he has been outstanding this year. I know the Jets secondary has been great, but it's mainly been the outside corners. So Hunter Renfro, uh, kind of real back the expectations. It's a great looking matchup on paper, but... I don't think it'll be that way, so Hunter Renfro might be a flex, but I like Tyrell Williams. And Jamison Crowder is the only receiver you can trust. He's a start. Donald loves him, or Darnold loves him, and then uh, the uh, Raiders are 24th against opposing receivers. Um, I mean, sit Robbie Anderson. He only he got a touchdown last week. That was the only reason he was relevant. Uh, Demarius Thomas. Uh, I'd rather go Jamison Crowder. <laughs> Just saying. On to Seattle versus Philadelphia. Tyler Lockett and DJ Metcalf are both starts. Eagles are 27th against opposing receivers. They both have the potential to have a huge game. So you got to go with both these options, I think. And then Alshon Jeffrey, uh, if he is healthy, he's a start. The Seahawks are 20th against opposing receivers. He's the only guy I would trust. No Nelson Aguilar. No, thank you. So, no, yeah, no Jordan Matthew either. I know he's on the squad now. So let's talk about the Lions versus the Redskins. Uh, Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones are always starts. I know, I know Galladay didn't have the greatest game last week, but they're always must starts because you don't know who will hit. You don't know who will hit. Um, it's a good matchup. The Redskins are kind of so-so, but you, again, you get you have to start both. You have to start both. It's kind of like Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. You don't know who will really hit. One might even end up producing a goose egg, but sometimes you got to take those chances. And then Scary Terry, he he's a start. The Detroit, they're 25th against opposing receivers. So I like him being the main target for Haskins. As far as Kelvin Harmon, 
um, I'd sit because I don't trust Haskins just yet, but I like Harmon in the future. Probably not this year, though. And we're on to Jacksonville versus Tennessee. I was wrong. I'll say it right now. I was wrong about DJ Chark. Um, he got all the targets I thought that uh, stinking DD, uh, DD Westbrook would get. So, yeah, I think he's a start from here on out. He had 15 targets last week. It looks like he will. he's the guy. I thought it would be Westbrook, man. Uh, I messed up. I messed up. I'm sorry, guys. I messed up. But it's a good matchup. The uh, Titans are 18th. We talked. Uh, I talked about their struggles in the uh, start sits for quarterbacks. They've been really been struggling to stop people in the pass game recently. So uh, yeah, I like I like Chark. And as far as D.D. Westbrook, he's a sit for me. Him and Chris Conley are now kind of sharing that volume. And then Tennessee receivers, you sit, you sit. The ball is being spread out too much. You don't know who will have the good game. You just, uh, there ain't nothing to talk about there. Don't trust it. Dallas versus New England. Mari Cooper, I think, is the only start for me. It's a very tough matchup. Um, I don't know if I would trust Michael Gallup this week. I certainly wouldn't trust Randall Cobb this week either. So for me, Cooper might be the only one startable. Uh, as far as Julian Edelman, he's always a start. He's always going to get his, even in a tough matchup. But like I said, it's a tough matchup. Cowboys are second actually against posing receivers so Mohamed Sanu and Philip Dorsett are sits I think Sanu you could probably make him a low-end flex just because he has he might get the opportunity I know Bray has been kind of um he's been kind of distraught he's been kind of frustrated with how the offense is going so Sanu might be able to uh put up a good put up a big game with a frustrated Brady uh Brady that is Feels like he's got a chip on his back. I like it. Uh, Green Bay versus San Fran. Oh, man. The Sunday night game. Devontae Adams is the only start for me for the Packers. You can't trust those receivers. You can't do it. Devontae Adams, you probably spent a first-round pick on him, so you're going to start him. Manuel Sanders, though. If he's healthy this week, I think he's a start. He look, he's got really good chemistry with Garoppolo. Uh, he has that wide receiver two upside, even in tough matchups. Uh, Debo Samuel is a sit if Sanders is healthy. If not, I think Samuel, I think my boy Debo kind of gets elevated into that uh, flex position. And to the Monday night game, Baltimore versus the Rams. Uh, I'd sit Hollywood Brown this week. He's really the only receiver to talk about. It's a tough matchup. Um, St. Louis, they're 13th against Posen receivers. And uh, I don't see many bombs in this game. I see a lot of stuff to the tight end, a lot of a lot of run plays. Uh, I feel like they're going to grind this one out. And for the Rams, Cooper Cup's the only one you could really start. I know Woods came up and had a pretty decent, or yeah, was it Woods last week? No, Woods, not Woods. It was uh, Josh Reynolds had a pretty decent game last week. But I mean, this is more of a reflection on Jared Goff, man. He's not been that good this year. So Cooper Cup has proved. For the most part, he is safe. I know he put up a goose egg against Pittsburgh, but for the most part, he is a safe choice at receiver. But that's it for the video. Do the YouTube things. Much appreciated. Much obliged. And until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.